Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes, Devon Branch, and on this very gloomy early December 2023 day, we are doing a quick video on this bright as a button, freshly arrived, and extremely attractive Roller Team Auto Roller 746. So, Roller Team, they're part of the giant French Degano group that includes, amongst others, Chausson there, and Benamar, and Andrea, and Auto Sleeper and Auto Trail and Euromobile and all sorts of other groups uh, or manufacturers. Roller Team are an Italian company and uh, they're very, very popular in the UK. Uh, they do uh, super modern um, plastic construction, um, coach builds and van conversions of a wide variety of the layouts. But the 746 is one of their most famous vans. It is a six berth over cab bed family friendly spacious and light and airy coach built this one is based on the fiat Ducato. they have moved on to the ford transit now but this is fiat based and it's on the last what they call the x7 cab so your reliability is fantastic it's a euro 6 engine as well so it's a 2021 roller team auto roller 746 uh, it's six berths it's five seat belts to achieve the three and a half ton bit they couldn't be six seat belts uh, three and a half tons so it's six berths but five seat belts Fitch Cato 2.3 manual, just under 10,000 miles. It's not an ex-rental, this one. You do need to watch Roller Teams because uh, uh, they're one of the most popular rental vans on the market. They actually sell direct to rental companies. There's a lot of heavy mileage ex-rental ones out there. This one's done under 10,000 miles. We got it off of a private owner. Uh, so it's 7.47 long, 2.35 wide, 3.2 high because of the big over cab bed. Price is 62.995. I think for the condition and spec of this one, it stacks up quite nicely compared to the others that are for sale out there at the moment and that will of course be fully prepared including an MOT that it's not due yet, a new uh, big major engine service, full habitation service and a 12 month warranty covering everything on the vehicle that's in house with us. So it's a lovely looking van, it's got the um, GRP sides which are sort of like this very light grey colour with bright white um, accents, you've got a big over cab bed with a big panoramic window in it, uh, we've got the uh, smart Fiat Ducato uh, front end with the silver style packs. So you've got the high gloss black grille and then the silver accents there. 15 inch wheels and wheel trims they actually look alright to be fair. You can stick some alloys on it if you want. So we've got king size over cab bed, front dinette makes a double and a big end lounge in at three and a half ton. There's not many vans uh, <coughs> three and a half ton that offer this much space and modernity. So we've got a gas locker for two gas bottles designed for the European 11 kilo bottle so that means it will swallow a pair of sixes. It has been used with refillable gas, it'll be easy enough to refit a refillable setup if you want. Um, that's where you fill up with LPG at a petrol station or you can put Cala gas in there. We've got a centrally locked habitation door, LED awning light. So the uh, auto roller was the, uh, the higher end, they did the Zephyros which were the cheaper ones and this was like the... Uh, uh, the, the higher end one, I believe, of the roller team group. Grade 3 fully winterised. The Italians, of course, take these skiing. So you've got double glazed windows all the way around. Fridge wrench for your three-way fridge freezer. Mains hook up here. And uh, I think there's a solar panel on the roof because I can see a grommet up there. So I think there is a solar panel. Big window at the back for your big end lounge, which is just lovely. And compared to uh, most end lounge vans, storage is fantastic. Of course, you can throw stuff over the cab during the day. And you've got this big underfloor locker at the back here, which is really, really good. And that's all plastic as well. So Roller Team got around the damp issues by making their vans out of GRP, which is the best idea. On the back you've got a four bike bike rack, you've got the end lounge window, high level reversing camera and you'll see up there an expensive Truma air conditioning system. Now we don't check, well we don't guarantee aircon systems, big aftermarket electrical items, but it'll be checked anyway and it is, I'm sure it'll be working but it's not one of our warranted items but that's a couple of grand's worth or 1500 quid to two grand's worth of kit, really nice thing to have. If you don't want it we'll take it out put a skylight back if you want but I would keep it. So it's on the later engine, so it's the 2.3, 140 horsepower, add blue Euro 6, uh, and it's the later version of Euro 6 as well, so that'll keep your low emission zone happy for quite a while. We've got extra wet storage underneath of there for your bits and bobs. 
uh, fresh water fill up point here, septic cassette toilet dump, and then another access to the external storage back there. I'm doing this quite quickly because it is now raining out here and it's not very nice. So having a quick look at the cab spec, hey, this was the top of the range one from Autotro I think, so it gives you uh, the Renault Concertina cab lines. We've got steering wheel stereo controls, got a accent um, head unit there which I think think does sat nav don't hold me to that but it certainly does all your bluetooth dab stereo and your reversing camera things like that air conditioning cruise control traction plus hill descent control and that six speed manual gearbox so all the bits you'd expect also got a swivel passenger seat probably a swivel driver's seat as well right let's run inside because it is grim out here yeah so inside, this really has the wow factor for me. Look at this, Shazam. It feels so light and modern and spacious. So I'm presuming this upholstery wasn't standard. It's like a high quality leatherette. And look at this for light and space. It is brilliant. I really, really like this. It's not gonna be for everybody. It's not like a auto sleeper sorta of set up which is all very twee it's not like that at all but it's very very light and roomy what a great place for a family or for two people who want space now you've got this gargantuan and it is gargantuan must be king size maybe super king size over cab bed up there it's huge you've got a big opening front skylight and the side window obviously that comes with a ladder and you can push that up during the day as well use that for storage and we've got this very plush four seat dinette with curved backrest. This will turn into a double bed, just drop the table down and you've got five, five or three rear seat belted seats. If this was registered new at over three and a half tonne, they'd have put the extra one in, but they're not allowed because of the, uh, the, the payload kind of thing. So it's got five proper three point seat belts. Massive feeling of space, beautiful use of light. I love these curved cabinets as well. Now this van, I, I hesitate to call anything immaculate, but if anything were to be called immaculate as a used van, uh, this would be it. It is superb. Now the previous owners were lovely people and they were so van proud. They're the only customers I've ever had um, who on uh, handover day moved their stuff into their new van and then, I kid you not, um, hoovered their part exchange out for us which is so nice they didn't have to do that but just says everything about it so huge storage i mean there's there's six berth vans out there with almost no storage they're not practical but this is fantastic so they've added this and this has been permanently bonded down for the microwave and you know what? it's not a bad idea to, to be fair i think that is quite a neat idea big drawers because there's six of you you're going to need a bit of place to put stuff. All soft finish, again, really nice use of the lighting. Fly screen door across there. Very, very simple control panel with on offs and then gauges for your water and your uh, battery capacities. So we've got an under counter fridge freezer there, again, in immaculate condition. I'm sure that lights up somehow, but I can't find a light switch. There's a light here as well. I wonder how you do it. Two light switches here, oh, not that one. Wow, so many light switches in this van, it's lovely. So let's see what's under here. I'm guessing this will be water tank access maybe, although I think that's inside. So. Oh, storage, more storage, that's good. So you've got bits of double floor there. Got an oven put into the UK market, Thetford Combi Oven and Grill. I like these sort of lit up back bits. You can hear the rain absolutely thundering down here. Um, oh, there's, a, there's a light, look at that, wow. So wardrobe space back here, we've got two deep drawers, again all soft clothes, hanging space above, Truma iNet control panel there if you want to sign up to an app to control your heating and hot water from the phone. Heating and hot water is from Truma, uh, it's gas or mains electric uh, blown air, I can't find the control panel for it, that's oh, back here, there it is. So you've got, just check what power source, I'm sure it'll be the gas one. Yeah, so gas, gas heating and hot water, and mains electric heating and hot water as well, that's right. 
and we pretend to put that on. Sometimes they rig the aircon up to this as well, but I'm not so sure they have on that. So above here you've got your air conditioning system, that will be mains powered. Again, lovely lighting, and what a nice place this end lounge is. So somewhere around there will be a table for back here, I would imagine. Well, I can't see it, but I'm guessing there will be. And I'm not a roller team dealer, so do excuse me if I'm wrong on that one. Big storage underneath all of these. Storage all the way around. So this is a full-size end lounge, unlike most other three and a half ton end lounge rounds. So this will use as single beds, or you can extend this to make a gargantuan double bed. So if you want a big bed, don't buy a fixed bed because it won't be this big. Buy an end lounge van. Very, very cool. Uh, now I've not looked in the bathroom yet. You've got your TV point over there. So we've got a, oh, a really nice bathroom as well. Let's get some. That's it. So big separate shower cubicle, basin built into it to save space, and you pull that out, clip it up there for your shower, and you've got a proper door that will come across to segregate that area, and then your fat cassette toilet there, along with a storage cupboard above. You've got plenty of USBs, there's USBs and mains down there. I'm sure there'll be some in the uh, in the end lounge as well. 12 volt over there. I think there'll be some USBs hidden around somewhere else as well. So yeah, it's a lovely modern and immaculate van whose previous owner was extremely house proud, and that's what you want really. So this is our roller team auto roller 746 at a very wet, rainy, and increasingly dark hybrid motorhomes Devon. Uh, give us a call 01626 832 792. Um, Call us direct on the mobile if we're doing videos 07432 662 558. Check us out on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website. Come and see us at Newton Abbott Devon just off the A38 South Devon Expressway between Exeter 2 and Plymouth. That easy to get to. And ask us about this really, really lovely Roller Team Auto Roller 746. Thank you very much. Goodbye.